Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today what I'm going to be doing is an experiment. I have no idea if this is going to work or not because I've not done this before, but I thought about it in the night and I thought, well, I've got to have a go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try casting an egg shape, but without a lathe. I don't have a lathe, so I know that there are some people create the most beautiful eggs on YouTube. Uh, on a lathe, but I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a mould of the egg first and then I'm going to cast that in resin and see how it comes out. It could turn out a complete disaster, but it could turn out fabulous, but we'll see. So what I've got to do to start with is because the egg is quite matte and I want this to have a really nice glossy finish. So I'm going to varnish this egg and it isn't a fresh egg. It is quite an old egg. Uh, one that got left in the fridge so because I wouldn't use a fresh egg and how I'm going to varnish that is I'm going to put a bit of blue tack down to start with and then I'm going to push the egg into it so there we go that's quite standing up quite well and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spraying this with crystal clear seals protects clear gloss finish it's a quite a quick drying one I'm going to give it several coats to get it nice and even glossy it will seal the egg but also it will make it glossy so when I make the mold the mold will be glossy but I won't be talking through that on camera because I will be wearing a mask, but I might do a voiceover. The egg's now had three separate coats of the spray gloss varnish, which is great. And as you can probably see now, it has got a nice glossy feel to it. Um, it's lovely and dry. And as a result, it hopefully will encourage the mould to have a glossy finish to it rather than a matte finish. And that's what I'm looking for. So what you're going to need for the actual container is a piece of plastic. So I've got a little square of plastic here. I get this in sheets and I just cut it down to the size I want. Now when I'm using it for bases, I use the three mil thickness. When I'm using it to build a box, I just use the one mil bit for thickness. And I've cut it to much larger than I actually need it as well. The other thing that you'll need is a sheet of acetate. This is a sheet of clear acetate, as you can see. A glue gun and some tape of some sort. I You can use normal, ordinary tape. I use a bit of double-sided sticky tape. Now, I've cut the acetate to the height and the width that I need, and what I'm going to be doing is turning that in itself into a little um, tube, like so. I'm just going to take that down and then what I'm going to be doing is sticking that onto there, like so, and then we've got a nice sphere. And I already know, because I've measured this, that it does fit nicely over the egg and gives it a little bit of space around the edge as well. Before I glue the tube onto here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the egg. So that's a piece of blue tack that I'm going to rest the egg on. And I'm going to put it on there like so. And once I remove that blue tack from the actual mould itself, it will allow me to have a ring to be able to pour into. So there we go. And now what I need to do is I need to pop that on there, making sure that I've got enough space all around it. And now this is where I will use the glue gun to fix it here. And what I do first for something like this is I'll just put a few little dots of glue around it to enable it to fix. Because if not, what I do is oh, it's really clumsy and I will end up moving it look i just moved it because i hadn't waited for it to dry so let's double check that yep so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using my glue gun all the way around i'll let that set up 
for a minute. Now, I'm using quite a heavy duty silicon rubber here. I will put a link to this uh, in the description below. And this mix up, mixes up 10 parts of the silicon rubber to one part hard. Now, they're different colors, so they're very easy to see when it's mixed. And I will weigh this out using uh, a small set of scales for this. That's nicely mixed now. And I want to pour this really no deeper than about a centimetre and a half over the edge, over the top of the egg. So I'm putting a little line on my acetate now of where to pour to. And now what I'm going to do is pour a thin, very slow line of this over the egg. So there we go, I filled that up now, and there's the line, so it's just hit the line. I... This is cured now, it looks like a frothy milk. So all I need now to do is take this off here. So there we go, that's just come off there. And that will then take off the acetate as well which should just come off really easily, and it has, like so. And then that should come out of there like that. Now, this egg <laughs> is likely to break uh, while I take it out, because the egg, obviously, is still going to be quite fragile. And I will need to open up that hole a little bit more than it is opened up to get this out. Right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this over a bowl, because don't forget when it's resin, it'll be a lot harder. Because if I break this egg, getting it out, I don't really want it to go all over my studio and everywhere. Oh, it's like giving birth. Well, I, how do I know what it's like giving birth? I never give birth to anything in my life. And this is quite a robust, as you can see, um, silicon. And that has come out there. <laughs> it has actually come out there in one go. It does look shiny in there. So the next thing is, let's test it out and see if it's going to work with resin. Oh, I do hope so. So we're gonna cast this egg now. And as this is a whole thing is an experiment, I'm doing an experiment casting as well. So what I've done is I've mixed up some resin 20 minutes ago and I've let it thicken up. I've put it into the pipette, I've put mica powder into it and I've let it thicken up. We've got that filled up now to really where we want it. And I'm just cleaning that off a bit. I don't know why. Don't need to. And now I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to let that cure. There's a little bubble on that top. I don't want that. Uh, I'm going to let that cure. And we will come back to this. This is a whole thing. is a heck experiment. The egg, the pouring, everything. So it can either come out looking great. And then we'll be celebrating, we'll be going, yay! Or it can come out looking rubbish and then we'll go, <laughs> So we'll get back to this as soon as it's cured. Well, this is cured now, and I know it's going to be a tight squeeze to get it out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dropping a little bit of neat washing dishwashing soap down it to try and help it come out and to ease the vacuum in there. I know it's a bit messy, but I'd rather that than, if I can, avoid not getting it out or damaging the mold. So, it came out with the egg okay. So, let's have a look. That's nice and loose. Oh. 
So, <laughs> I am so pleased with that. I can't tell you how pleased I am with that and how that's come out. Oh, that looks amazing. Again, it's shiny because of the... Um, because I actually polished up using a spray. Let's get some of this washing li up liquid off here. It's got a nice flat base so because I, I want to put that onto something. There we go. There's an egg. A really nice egg. That looks like tiger's eye, I think, now. Oh, I'm really, really pleased with that. Possibly next time I would use a bit more clear. But it just goes to show, you could make an egg. You could put a mosquito in there, do it like something off Jurassic Park, fix a, fix him to the bottom there and put it onto a cane. You could even use that as a gear stick knob, I think, if you put a thread in it. I am really... I can't tell you how pleased I am. I'm not sure if you can tell in my voice how shiny that is and how great that's come out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have because I will definitely be washing this mould out into some water and casting some more. And if I do that before I upload this video, I'll put some photographs on them. If not, what I'll do is I will put some photographs on my Facebook group, um, which I will put a link to in uh, the description of this if you'd like to uh, join my Facebook group. It's starting to grow really nicely now for more tips and tricks and things. So since making the original egg, which is this one, the one I think that came out looking like tiger's eye, I've made three more because I absolutely love this mold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a cane and put one of these on top of the cane. So it's like a, a walking stick or, or something. I really do like these eggs. I put a pine cone in this one um, with a bit of yellow alcohol ink in the actual resin just to colour the actual resin itself. I love how that's come out. Some gold leaf. I think that looks really, really luxurious. The way that these, these eggs came out, I think they look great. So, nice and easy. No lathe needed, no sanding needed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.